Okay, so I'm working on a three-channel, sort of like a drone plane. I've got this big long wing. Uh, wingspan is 60 inches. The wing cord is 10 inches. For the fuselage, I'm going to be using these carbon fiber arrow shafts. That'll be placed sort of like this, with the motor being a pusher prop right there. And then eventually I'll build the tail section, and then have a fuselage right here to put the battery in. Here are the electronics for my new plane. This is a 1300 kV 24 gram brushless motor, uh, commonly known as a Blue Wonder. It'll be on a 8x4 prop with a uh, 3 cell battery. The ESC is a 20 amp Hobby King, which is a little overkill, but that's okay. And for my servos, I'm just using two general 9 gram servos. Okay, so here it is mostly put together. I got the motor mounted on there, the wings on and everything, the horizontal and vertical stabilizers in, and the main fuselage for it. Now this thing is going to be really tail heavy, so I have to have both batteries in the front just to keep it even nearly bound, balanced. And I need to put the servos in and make a Y harness for these two batteries. So I have to go do that and solder. Okay, so I'm finally finished. <clears throat> got the nice long wing. Got the fuselage in the front. And then the arrow shafts as the uh, connecting the horizontal stabilizer in the wing. It's got elevator and rudder, only three channel with dihedral. It's got the motor back here. The ESC is on the top. And then if you can see the receiver is back under there. As you can see, the uh, wind really affects how the plane flies. It really pushes it around and causes the plane almost to stall out. And there's probably just not enough power to it, so I'm going to be replacing the one motor with two identical motors in the front of the wing. I'm also trying to solve the stalling problem because this plane stalls even after like really shallow angles of attack, like maybe 30 degrees. It can't. You can't pull up on the elevator without it stalling out just a little bit so I need to find ways to fix that and I'm thinking that since the whole main body is mostly the wing once the wing stalls out the whole entire plane stalls out Yep. I got it right before you let go of it. Now I have the dual motors on it. And hopefully this will solve the power problem. So it can go through wind a little bit better. And it makes it a little bit nose heavy since there was one on the back and now there's two in the front of the wing. And the extended rudder should help with turning in the wind. And if it still doesn't turn well, then I'll have to put ailerons on it, which shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so now I have the dual motors running. <clears throat> They're on 8x4 counter-rotating props with the 1300 kV motors and the 20 amp ESCs with the 3 cell batteries. It's got the extended rudder and uh, the elevator in the back. And then the dual motors should pull it along far more powerful than just the one in the back. A little louder. That's because there's some vibrations. Yeah. But yeah, dude. This feels better. It's just better power. And I'm flying at about 55% throttle. Nice.
Oh yeah. 